Swift Current, We Want the Cup. We want the cup that chant rained down onto the ice Sunday night as the Swift Current Broncos put the finishing touches on a 3-0 win over the Everett Silvertips in Game 6 of the WHL Final. Swift Current fans wanted their first league title in 25 years and Captain Glenn got and delivered. After receiving the WHL Playoff MVP award, Godin was summoned back to center ice where he accepted the Edge in OF Cup from Commissioner Ron Robison. Godin smiled as he lifted the trophy high in the air, soaking up every bit of appreciation he was shown by a sellout crowd at the Credit Union Iplex. Unbelievable, Godin marveled as 2,890 fans slowly began heading for the exits. It went nuts for about five minutes straight. We definitely have the best fans in the league thanks to Sunday's win. The Broncos have also earned the right to be called the best team in the WHL. That's music to the ears of Godin, who will graduate from the league this spring having spent his entire junior career in Swift Current. I waited five years for this, said the 20-year-old center. I couldn't have planned it out any better, just the way everything worked out this year. It was a long road but the feeling right now, nothing beats it. From a historical perspective, it's the first time a Saskatchewan team has won the WHL title since Swift Current did it in 1993. Ending that drought is a source of pride for winger Tanner Nagel, who will now get to represent the WHL and his home province at a Saskatchewan-based Memorial Cup from May 18th to 27 in Regina. Until then, he plans to enjoy Sunday's win, it's something I've dreamt about my entire life, I still can't even believe that it happened, said Nagel, a native of Moss Bank who played some of his minor hockey in Swift Current. I grew up really close to here and I spent a lot of time here. This is like a second home for me. I have friends and family that got to be here, for Sunday's win. It's amazing to bring the title back to Saskatchewan and bring it back to Swift Current. The Broncos weren't necessarily considered a championship contender heading into this season, but that perception began to change after they won eight straight games right out of the gate. Although they showed no signs of letting up, there was reason for concern due to a lack of scoring depth behind the dynamic trio of Godin, Tyler Steenbergen and Alexi Haponimi. Reinforcements arrived on November 25 when head coach and director of player personnel Manny Viveros acquired second-line forwards Mateo Gennaro and Beck Malinston from the Calgary Hitmen. The next move was to address the back-end, landing veteran stay-at-home defenseman Josh Anderson from the Prince George Cougars on Jan. 7. Two days later, the Broncos made their biggest move yet by landing goalie Stuart Skinner, center Giorgio Estefan and Nagel in a blockbuster trade with the Lethbridge Hurricanes. Those deals helped propel Swift Current to the WHL's second-best record, 4-8-1-7-5-2, and a first-round playoff meeting with the Regina Pats, who have an automatic berth in the Memorial Cup as its host team. Swift Current needed seven games to get past Regina before going the distance again in a second-round matchup with the regular season champion Moose Jaw Warriors. That was followed by a six-game triumph versus the underdog Lethbridge Hurricanes to set up a championship clash with the Silvertips, who finished just four points behind Swift Current in the regular season. When the dust cleared, the Broncos had set a WHL record by playing 26 games in the 2018 playoffs. I'm so proud of them for how they battled all year long, especially through these playoffs, said Viveros. It was a difficult playoffs but our kids never for one minute looked tired. They came to the rink every day ready to go. They were determined, Everett was really good, so was everybody we played, but our kids weren't going to be denied, Garter at PostMedia.com.